Hey everyone, welcome back to Boulder Play Something. Today we're playing Descent Free Space, a space sim from 1998. We're back on the Galatea, our home ship, uh, and everything's laid out nice and familiar. If you're interested in learning more about the game, how I'm playing it, uh, then you can catch me up in the tech room after the mission. I'll be out of uniform and just generally babbling on about one of my favorite games of all time. If you want to watch the entire playlist of Boulder Play Something Descent Free Space, then that man up there at the information desk will be able to give you a hand. He'll give you the link to the entire playlist so you can watch from the start. Otherwise, if you're ready to go, grab your flight suit, set into the briefing room, and let's play something. Okay. The GTS Asimov and the GTS oh, geez, red alert. Under in the that's, system. um, that's an interesting kind of, um, way that it does this. Okay, so. Was working on Project Tsunami, which involves hyperactive substances. These substances are extremely volatile. If the Asimov is destroyed, the reagents are likely to reach critical mass. Analysis predicts a shockwave of up to five kilometers in radius. That's ungood. The station is in bad shape. Okay, secure, Spomer will come in and get stuff. We have five ships in the hangar. waiting in the hangar. We have no time to get them fully loaded out, so you'll need to use what you've got. Suit up. You're launching in two minutes. Suit it up. What do we got? We are in an Apollo. Um, I don't need the ML-16, so we'll keep that just to an Avenger, and uh, MX-50s will have to do. I kind of want to know who made the loadout on this, but we'll have to take it. Okay, Shaitan, Shaitan, Bomber, on good news. Bad news, in fact. Okay, that one's down. What's this? That's down. Scorpion. Any other? Nope, just the two scorpions. Up. Oh. Okay. Okay, so, uh, allied vessels, let's not crash into it. Okay. That's the evac transport. Incoming. Oh, a lot of incoming. Up, oh, bombers. Don't care about that. I want the bomber. There it is. There, bomber down. Being able to communicate is nice, especially when you remember uh, C. Uh, two is for wing, and one is to destroy my target. Uh, okay. Cargo scientists, so they must have evac Nice. Scientists are safe. Clear out the rest of the hostiles and return to the Galate. All hostiles cleared out. All fighters? Yes, sir. Get out. I thought I hit it for a second. Oh, oh god, no. Great job, Nice. You managed to protect the Asimov. 
All the data for Project Tsunami has been secured, okay. and it should be completed within days. The crew of the GTC Ravage thanks you for saving their lives. It's a secondary objective, I think. Their assault on Antares far more difficult than the Ravage on board. Yay. For saving the crew of the GTC Ravage, we are awarding you the Medal of Conspicuous Gallantry. Recommendations. No recommendations. You are fucking awesome. Conspicuous Gallantry, right there. Stats. Rocked it. Except, on to the next one. Woo! See, I remembered this cutscene, and I kept thinking that it was after the Tyrannus. Who knows? There's a hitch along the way. Now, obviously, this is really dating. Well, all the cutscenes are, but whatever. Gameplay looks good because of FS2 open, but pre-rendered cutscenes you really can't help. So I imagine magnetic boots, but they sound like suction cups. And now we get to see what a Sheevan looks like. I don't oh, she sees me there. And they're big. Did you ask what the heck is that? What do you think it is? It's a Sheevan. And it's hostile. Although, admittedly, it didn't fire first. But humanity has no problem being Han Solo. Who shot first? They are just wrecking your shit. Oh my god. No. Face lasers. Face lasers. The hammer of light has decimated the pursuit and fleet at Vegas. So. Most of the surviving Basudan forces have retreated to I mean, nothing really comes to that, like, oh, we've seen them and we can do this, that, or whatever. It's just, it's a nice know-your-enemy kind of cutscene, and like, oh shit, these things are, like, bad news even outside of ships. Unlike Independence Day, punch, welcome to Earth. Earth. Our first new weapon is the Phoenix 5 anti-bomber warhead. This missile can puncture even the thickest of shields and can also be used effectively against larger targets, like freighters. More details are available in the tech room. Yay, anti-bombers. But probably also, you know, slower because of it. But then bombers are slower, so, you know, whatever. We have also acquired a wing of the new Medusa bombers. Though they are slower and less maneuverable than the Athena, they are far more powerful. Once again, full details can be found in the tech room. Let's skip letting that thing play itself out. And the Tsunami! The Tsunami bomb is the ultimate anti-cruiser weapon. It can be carried by the Medusas. Just a few of these will take out any cruiser. And the Hammer of Light Atom class cruisers are no exception. You'll be using this bomb quite often against major hmm. Hammer of Light Well, it seems like we're going back to some HOL hunting. Here in the Antari system, we have detected a small HOL base of operations. Your squadron is being sent to eliminate it. We will destroy all Hammer of Light ships and then jump back to the Galate. The Galate will be monitoring you in case the situation gets out of control. Good luck. Well, that's a um, ominously basic uh, mission description. It's like, eh, 20 seconds in, we're going to throw him a curveball, so the briefing doesn't matter anyway. Um. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, cool. So, these things have tsunamis and heat seekers and stilettos. 
I don't know, I'd want to destroy subsystems, but they can't take interceptors, so, you know, why not? Um, heat Seekers, Avengers, everybody has Avengers, everybody has Avengers, everybody has Avengers. Um, I'm giving myself another rack of uh, interceptors. I'm gonna do the same for Alpha 2, and we'll go for it. What the hell happened to the hammer outpost? Oh, it didn't even take 20 seconds. I'm reading nothing but Sheevans. Something, something. Where is your god now? Okay, that time I got my own allies. Crossfire. Oh, there's a bomber. Yeah, uh, that's it. No help needed from the Galate. Um, uh, Alpha 2, feel free to depart. Because you're not going to make it. Get out of their wedge, you can't do much good back there. Okay, let's try not to even get close. So. Hellions. What? Lilith. Sending Delta Wing now. Loser. Delta Wing has arrived awaiting orders. Attacking your target. See that shockwave? That's one of the tsunami bombs. Oh. oh, that one was not. Oh, must have disabled it with that. Oh, jeez, Nephilim. These are bombers. These are bombers. Oh, jeez, sure, he goes evasive as soon as I decide to actually fire. Whoa, so those are afterburners. Screw that guy, not gonna, gonna get in another game of tag someone like that. He can come after me after a bit. And what do you know, he's coming after me. Interesting how that works. Ah, I'm gonna go on sideways like that. Oh, go, 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 get it, get it, get it. Boom, down. Hellions 2 is down. Hellions 1 is biting it pretty fast. Um, delta, 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 Delta. Alpha, beta, Beta, Gamma. Gamma 2. Gamma 2. Get out. Ooh, 
Rama is Nephilim. Bomber. Let's not let him have his way with the Galatea. Last guy left. Battle area is clear. Entering subspace now. <laughs> In other words, get out of the way. Ridiculous acceleration when they decide to go into subspace because otherwise it would take like 20 minutes. And whoosh. I'll snap your head. Delta jumping out. Secondary objective failed. Beta wing is out of here. That just leaves us, Alpha Wing. Yes, sir. Leaving battle area. Uh and you gamoing. Subspace node activated. That's a permit, sir. Departing now. And out. We are pleased that you were able to suppress the Shivan influence in the Beta Aquilae system. Their arrival was unexpected, and battling the Shivans always takes a heavy toll on our forces. Fortunately, we can take some better I wonder what the secondary thing the was that I didn't get. In light of your recent achievements in protecting GTA space from the Shivan threat, the silhouette on the Distinguished Service Cross, I'm pretty sure, is a fighter that's only in Free Space 2. I don't know if that's a uh, FS1 port thing. Or if I'm wrong, and that is actually something later on in the game, so... Okay, cool. So I'm truly an outstanding pilot, I will take it. That's being covered by... Oh, hold on. Down there. Okay. Hopefully I remember what the heck I meant to actually do with that. Anyway. Um, doesn't say what the uh, objectives were, so... Anyway. Thank you for watching. Um... If you enjoyed the video, remember to rate it thumbs up, subscribe to see more in this series as well as more that come out after it. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Twitter to get more updates as well as supporting me on Patreon.com, all of those slash Boaterbug. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.